move, 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 go, 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 leave him, get out of here, go, 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 Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Steampunk Minecraft. Last episode, we built this big honkin' thing behind me! It is a nuclear power plant because ours sucks and is slowly dying, so we had to make a new one! And it is prime full of energy despite just being hooked into the power grid. So, first thing we're gonna have to do now that we have that old power plant torn down, we have a couple things that we want to do today. But first things first, we are going to have to decommission this engine because it's contributing to quite a bit of lag and to be honest I just want it gone so our mission revamp the railroad we're basically going to have to take our entire railroad apart I don't know where we're going to put our little train for the time being but we're going to need a new train on new tracks I guess for now I could just delete the bottom carriage and then just replace it with the new full-size carriage but I want to get like actual new trains because I haven't shown this off because I've been using a narrow gauge and nothing applies to narrow gauge but uh we have steam uh steam in rails and extended bogies and we have some uh different types of wheels that we can use if I was going to build a whole brand new railroad, I'd need lots of wood. So I went back to my logging camp, and while I was there, I found a villager that I'd left trapped for a very long time. And when I opened up his box, I realized the animation mod was installed, and I had a little bit of fun with him. Hi! Look at you! You're just a little man. Oh, look at him do his little dance. Look at him go. Oh, break it down. Oh, okay. That's enough harassing the villager. I left you in a box for a very long time. As the sun was going down, I was harvesting dark oak. And I was starting to realize that maybe I was digging on some sort of ancient burial ground or something because things were starting to look a little spooky. It was taking a minute to think and I didn't like that. Why does everything look haunted? Why does this look haunted? I like that. Why does it look like that? Why is it glowy? <laughs> oh, you scared me, tiny man. Oh, it's cold. Wait a second, it's cold. Wait, why is it cold? Oh no, it's cold. I just realized it's cold. And, uh, I'm freezing. And that means I'm gonna have a not good time in a couple seconds if I don't get going. Ooh, okay, never mind. Back to the jungle, back to sick. Okay, point taken. Oh, hey. Whoa, hey, whoa! Whoa, hey, whoa! Whoa! After I got enough wood, I left the haunted forest because it was very clear that the environment and the inhabitants did not want me there. When I came home, a horde was in full swing, so I had to deal with all the remaining zombies before I could get any form of work done. Stop the horses! I need to stop being so reliant on guns, and also I'm running out of gunpowder, so I kind of have to be. I really need to make a gunpowder farm, however, uh, Steve uploaded a video of making a gunpowder farm while I was recording this, so I'm gonna have to wait a couple days so I don't look like I'm copying him. After dispatching the zombies, I built myself a track building machine. I may build a dedicated factory for this one day, but for now, this is enough. While I was waiting for my tracks to produce, I did a little bit of wiring. But then I realized something. My generator was no longer running. Where's it got? Steam engine stopped. Uh-oh, I'm out of fuel. 
I had run out of fuel! I had put off my fuel farm to build the railroad! So I had to run back down to the mine to grab what thorium I could before my base went dark. I grabbed enough thorium to feed my base for a little bit and hastily made it into fuel using what power I had left. This surely won't be a problem in the future. Now it was time to tear down the narrow gauge. I shoved the brick into the aether and said our goodbyes. And then I destroyed the portal, locking him in there forever. Goodbye, aether. We will probably not be going to you again. Let's crack it up in here. I used my tunnel board to make a large tunnel big enough for three sets of tracks. This would be the main station and would lead into a nether portal. All my future trains will pass through here and I'll be able to watch them go from my base. Then I started building what would be one of three bridges. This track was headed towards my iron mine at the top of that mountain, but I wanted to take a more realistic route instead of just climbing up half-floating impossible inclined tracks. So I had to go the long way. Unfortunately, the long way is very boring, so I just decided to build the rest of the bridge with a schematic cannon. Oh my god, bro. Oh, I didn't make it. We were so close to the end, too. I thought it was going to make it all in one shot, but it didn't. Oh, it's so close. Let me guess. Out of gunpowder. Again, let's go look. Yep. And this is where our bridge ends. And now we need to figure out... How we are going to get here from all the way over there. I'm thinking just have a straight line bridge across this other river here. And then the rest we can just do with uh, spruce. Oh, hi. Oh yeah, this is just my little temporary train. I forgot to show this off, but uh... I just made this for the sake of getting me down the tracks while I was still building it. I took it apart once I got the track finished and I gave it a proper train. But I gave it a cute little caboose, look at that! In order to get the mass amounts of spruce needed for the next bridge, I made myself a temporary little farm and uh... While it works, let's just say it is not up to code. Next, I built the mountain climbing bridge. This needed to be very tall, but in order to give it a bit of realism, it also needed to be very long. There's a reason you don't see many train tracks in real life that go up at a 45 degree angle. This one was just a mind-numbing session of building pillars and tearing out trees and stringing tracks across it, but in the end, I think it came out looking pretty nice. I can barely fit the whole thing in my render distance. What's the recording? Oh, I've been recording for like five hours, hey. I finished the bridge. I was gonna build a walkway up this whole thing, but I'm very lazy and I don't want to do that, so we're just gonna leave it how it is. If any mobs spawn on it, they'll get knocked off when the train comes through. It'll be fine. Then I built the third bridge to connect the other two I had just built. I uh, made a mistake in the center of it, but we're not gonna look at that too much, and I'm not gonna fix it either. When I came home to get more tracks, I tried to activate my elevator, and then I realized uh, my power had run out. Again. Where's up? Did my power run out? Okay, that's broken. Well, I know the power is not out because I can hear the. 
Huh? Oh. Yeah, the power is out. Huh. That's a shame. I refueled my generator once more, and while I was at it, I gave it a run-out sensor that would set off an alarm once the engine had stopped. And uh, while I was testing it, some zombies showed up to play. Yeah, that's that, so let's say this quit. Yeah, excellent. That works. Love that. I was working a bit more on connecting the two sets of tracks, and then I started to freeze a little bit. So I thought, oh well, I'd wait until the morning. So I went to go sleep in my bed, and then I got visited by, well, a visitor. Uh-oh. Okay, you know what? I think it is time to go. Uh-oh, I left my train- my train's on the slope, and I can't- Uh-oh. This is going to be a problem. I'm going to get got by a man in the fog. Nope, nope, I'm going. Goodbye. Uh oh. Don't leave me behind. Don't leave me with this guy. Come on. No, 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 no. Let me on. Move, 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 move. Move, 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 Go, 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 go. Leave him. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. She's not real. Go, 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 go. I don't care if it goes to another. Just get out of here. Hit the button. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. Hi. Do you mind? I can't move. Hello? Please! Ugh. Well, uh, thank- okay. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> The amount of work I'm having to do for this one slope is insane! It's connected! Oh, I can get rid of all this! Oh, Vein Miner doesn't work on that, really? Lame. Okay, now I just need to go get a roller attachment. And, uh, just send it through. I should go to the Aether and just grab the rollers I have, but I'm not going. After I finished laying the track, I strapped a couple rollers to the front of my train and added some nice gravel beds underneath the rails to make them look more established. But then, when I was getting more gravel to finish doing that pavement, I was visited once again by the man. Uh-oh. Oh, he's here. Oh, he's here. I don't know where he is, but he is here. Hey! Ah! Get on the train! 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 I don't know where he is, but we are out! We are gone! We are leaving! Goodbye! I really need to get a train that's easier to get into. That's the second time I've almost been caught by him because I could barely get into my train. Uh oh, that's not good. I just loaded in and the alarm's going off, which means we ran out of power or something. I 
I think we just ran out of fuel again, which is problematic. Yes, this has stopped. And we are running low on fuel. Oh boy. Uh, let's turn off this. That way it doesn't uh, take up a whole bunch of power. That goes for a very long way. I'm impressed. Maybe get sweeping edge on this. Ah. After I refilled my generator again, I built myself a nice little train for my brand new tracks and I took it on a joyride. Oh, it's all rainy and anticlimactic. That's very lame. So that'll be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had a wonderful time watching. I did not have a wonderful time doing because I spent way too long on this. But I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!